What's up everyone, this is Sam from 64 Wheels, back with more diecast. and today we have the new for 2022 Matchbox Action Drivers Canyon Adventure playset. So this is Matchbox's newest addition to the Action Drivers playset line. The line started a few years ago, I believe, and it features a base that connects to both Matchbox and Hot Wheels. And this year, Matchbox is extending the city, the offering of Action Drivers offerings even more with this, the Canyon Adventure playset. I believe there's gonna be a bus stop, a car dealership, another parking garage type style. They already, sh I already showed you the um, Pizza Hut one, which was a Pizza Hut exclusive, but I believe now, is in Rite Aid and other small grocery stores, but I have not seen it yet. But this is a really, really cool playset. They have just really taken Matchbox to the next level over the past couple years. They have really bumped up the quality, they've bumped up the play factor, and to me, the, even the box art just looks amazing. So this set uh, costs $19.99 on Walmart.com. I have not seen it in stores yet. I've only seen it online, like Walmart.com and Target but I think Walmart was a little bit cheaper because they offered cheaper shipping, so that's where I got it off of. So this set features basically four or five large, um, or like, I don't know, actions to it. So there's like a little, they call it like an earthquake zone, a uh, tumbler, uh, let's see what else. I'm gonna make sure I get the, <laughs> I'll do the actual words here. So, um, shaking bridge and snapping gator, a car activated avalanche, move the boulder and rescue the hiker, at the ranger station for lights and sounds. So unlike a lot of Hot Wheels play sets, Matchbox has really integrated the lights and sounds well. Attention all units, report to headquarters immediately. So the Lettle Tower lights up and there's usually a voice. They've added this. I mean, the airport has it. The, I think the parking garage has it. Um, what else has it? There's, I mean, there's just quite a few. The hospital I think has one um, or the helicopter rescue, whatever it's called. So they've just been killing it with the play sets. The box looks great. Um, there you can see like the rest of the Matchbox world for this year. Uh, there you can see the airport that I've showed you before. I'll put a link in the like description to all these. Um, there's like the fire station rescue, the gas station, and then these are the new ones for this year. So here's this one right here. There's a construction site, what I believe is a car dealership or a detail shop, um, a bus station, and I can't remember what that one is, but there's a few more coming out as well, which will really make this line a blow up even more. Oh, look, there's a good view of it right there. Whoop. There's the few other ones too. So. Um, this will make this line even better to collect just because they can be connected to each other and they look great And I mean the one I have now like just last year's all of them I believe it's like three feet by two feet I mean it is a big play surface and it, all of it wasn't even a hundred dollars So it, they're pretty affordable especially if you're looking to get um, your diorama You know like an affordable diorama or even your kid um, Like a good play base to start with these are excellent sets for that. So let's go ahead and bust this open. So oh, it's a little this has the easy open um, that Mattel has on a lot of their toys now Whoop. I'm pumped about this one. I'm really excited to see the little crocodile or alligator bridge um, because it looks it looks interesting. I haven't seen anything that's like that in um, recent history. So um, the unboxing, just whoop, let's see. Uh, instructions, let's see what else we got here. They've been taping the stickers to the actual instruction seats, which is fine as in they don't get lost and they don't get like bundled up. So there's the sticker sheet. Whoop. Let's see what else. I think this is some kind of warning and another warning about the batteries, lights, and sounds, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and unbox this piece. So there is the base. It actually looks pretty largely assembled. Man, this one's huge. So let's check this out. A little bit of cardboard there. So there is, I mean, that base is huge. It's definitely a foot long. It's got some little snakes there. Uh, this looks like some like terrain, some like rocks or whatever else. There's a little tire mark right there in the corner. Um, this is gridded to like lift the car up some parking spots, and this looks like one of the moving action things uh, built into the base. So we'll see how that goes together, but this is looking, it's already looking good. It's huge already. So, man, and it just keeps going. So I'm sure this snaps onto the base. Man, this is a huge, oh, look at that. Look at the little bear. That is hilarious. Look at that little guy. Roar. Sweet, so that is simulated water. They're just like, I think they're just stickers. 
um, and you don't have to put them on there they've already put it on there which is nice um, but this is obviously supposed to be like grass greenery so my guess is that would snap on probably just right there to the base um, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the directions because I don't want to snap anything in place that shouldn't be snapped so um, there's oh look little matchbox mountain check that out that's pretty cool let's see what else we got so here is all oh, its little, little like avalanche. This is kind of a cool uh, mechanism on this. Like it sits there, it looks like, like stout like that. And then if it clicks, like it folds, which is kind of cool. I don't think I've seen that before. Let's see what else we got. So here's, oh, look at the little walker. So this must be the, oh, sorry, the rock avalanche part. Like look at the little, the people. I don't know if they, oh, it looks like they move. Oh, this is so cool. That does something too. This is going to have a lot of moving parts to it, which is cool. This is the part I was looking most forward to. So it's like the almost like Legends of the Hidden Temple bridge. Let me make sure. Like, look how cool that is. It's like a bridge that rocks back and forth while the car's on it. Not too shabby because the rope is broke is what I assume. That is so cool. I haven't even seen it in action yet, but it looks fun to drive across already. All right, let's see what else we have here. So we have a boulder, some kind of rock feature, um, the little alligator, which looks like a pickle. Does that not look like a pickle? I'm gonna about to put this in my pickle jar and see if anybody notices. It's kind of cool, okay. A little gate opener, a little sign, and then that is the actual, um, let's see, the little tower. So I'm gonna pause it, get that out because it's always a mess to try to get the stuff out of the box and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and opened everything and I put the decals or the stickers on too. Pretty simple, I think there was only six. Um, it was this, two on this space just so the parking lines, um, the little like gate here, and then two on the emergency, the mountain rescue, and then the emergency right here. So it really wasn't bad at all. Usually I like to show you if there's a tough sticker, but the toughest one was probably just the gate because it was so skinny. Um, it wasn't bad at all. So. Um, the, basically the first, uh, part of the assembly is assembling these two giant, oh, two giant base parts together. So, um, this one is actually a little bit unique because Matchbox assigns a letter to it. So I don't know if you can see that, but right there is an H and right there is a G. And then on this match, on this base, there is matching or corresponding. There's an H right there and then a G right there if you can see it so they're kind of showing you even though it kind of like is self-explanatory like it fits right there at least they're telling you where it goes just in case you don't know or if you're giving this to a little person to uh to assemble so you basically just snap it into place like this and it's all set so that's the majority like of the base and it is definitely it's a foot by a foot so it's quite large i mean it doesn't even fit in the whole screen so that's pretty cool a lot of play factor on this one. So the next thing is the uh, matchbox, like mountain base, I guess I would call it. And that snaps in, looks like right here. Make sure I get it doing that right. Oh, there it goes. All right. That wasn't bad. That was just, uh, I didn't have that part snapped together. Um, all the way. So the next one is the rock ramp, which goes to, let's see here. Oh, they actually have, I'm gonna turn it around, like to have it in instructions. Okay, so this one goes oh, right here. That's so cool, a little matchbox mountain. Awesome. So I'm gonna make sure I press that in. Okay, getting too excited over some matchbox font there. Okay, so the next one is the like little, I don't know what you call this, like earthquake tower. And that clicks in, see how we do it. So it looks like the base snaps in right here, just like so, and then snaps in just like that. So there you can see the action of that a little bit. Oh, make sure that's in place, there we go. Okay. All right, and then now the little uh, rescue station clicks in right here, right to the base. Oh. It's got a little door too, which is pretty handy. 
All right, and then we have the alligator crossing. Am I supposed to put the alligator in yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I can put this, so this one, is this backwards? There it is. So the rock whoop, goes right over here, and then the bear pops out of it. Whoa. And then the little alligator snaps right here in the middle of the water, but I'm, I'm gonna make sure I put him in right. Whoop. So he goes, it's like this way. Not too bad, he sticks right in there. Still looks like a pickle to me. Oh, let's see, okay. At the station, okay, let's go for the bridge now. So, let's see which way it goes. So, the rope side goes over here, apparently. Apparently. Oh, look, so when you tilt it, when you do that, you can see the gator's mouth go up and down. Oh, gator attack, that's awesome. Okay, and then the little gate goes right here. Little flipper, whoop, whoop, up and down. And then the little warning sign right there. And I believe that's it. It is fully assembled. So let's check this beast out. Let me see. There it is, top to bottom. It's quite large. Awesome. I like it. So, okay. I'm going to flip it over and let's see. So this actually has um, quite a few ways to play here. So first off, it says ways to play. So it says hit the rock and trigger the landslide. So it says to drive the car up here, hit the rock, and that's what will actually trigger like the like the bridge falling down. Oh, and it does, sweet, okay. So if you have a car on there and you were to hit it, there it goes and falls down and has like the landslide earthquake, which is kind of cool. And also, I don't know, hopefully, uh, what is that? Oh, trigger the landslide. I don't exactly know what this person, I mean, I understand what the person is there for. Like when you do that, the person moves um, right here, as you can see. And I, don't, I don't really know the purpose, but it, it looks kind of cool, I guess. So number two, it says, press this. And then on this side, if you can see, oh, I will zoom in for you. Or so if you load the car in here, and then this switch right here, whoop, actually bumps the car like lifts it up and it goes out of the gate. I'm, I'm not doing it because I'm not fully doing it because I don't want to fall out. But, oh, do I have it all the way in? Let me make sure, okay, I do. Added that feature, let me put it in there again. There it goes. Emergency reported near the lake. Cool. So you do have to kind of push the vehicle back a little bit to get that to work and then kind of click it up harder so that it actually falls out and triggers the noise because the button is in there. I didn't even realize that. So it also does have like a little helicopter landing and then this doubles as the little like watch batteries that are in it. That's where the speaker is. This glows, this doesn't really move, but it is the button for the lights and sound. So um, let's see. So it says move it up, move this uh, lever up and then what is it? Up and down to cross the bridge. Yeah, so when you drive across this, I don't know if you can see. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. So when you're driving across it, it goes back and forth. And then it triggers the, oh, the uh, crocodile or alligator. That's kind of cool. I like that kind of movement. Like they could utilize this for like a Jurassic Park or a, um, even a Fast and the Furious playset, to be honest. It's kind of cool. And then it says, wake the sleeping bear saved the trapped is there a hiker in there it says you can push it up oh no okay that's what it is so the hiker is actually supposed to be trapped somewhere in this rock i guess i don't know that's what it says it the, it says save whoop, saved the, save the trapped hiker i guess it's just moving the the rock up which is kind of lame but it, it is what it is and then the little bear i guess you just do that uh, with your finger and move this little guy back and forth you can just ah, ah. it's kind of fun again this is probably meant for kids not adults but i like it either way and it has a ton of play surface so if you're collecting this line, the um, action driver's line in general, this is going to add basically a square foot to your play surface. It's gonna add another lights and sounds and three, four different play surfaces. So you have the bridge, 
the grass, the rock, the parking spaces, and the actual street that connects to the other Hot Wheels set. So this is a pretty good set overall. I think I like this one a lot. Um, I don't know what I would compare it to. Probably, oh man, I don't know, but it's good. I mean, I would definitely say this is worth the $20 for sure because of all the um, play surfaces on it. You get the car, you get like a million different action pieces. I love this. This little alligator part is so cool. That's awesome. This little goofy bear down here. You have the guy trapped up there. Uh, you got the little lights and sounds through the garage. It's pretty solid. Overall, not a bad buy. For $20, especially given that some, even like Monster Jam, uh, some of the Spin Master sets, or some even the Hot Wheels sets for $20 don't give you this level of play factor because they're not play-based based, they're like more track-based. But this is excellent. I like this. I think if you had someone in your family, or if, even if you're into like off-roading, like this would make a cool Jeep course. Like if you had Jeeps and you want to do Jeep dioramas or um, shoot some off-road vehicles like some Rovers, some G-Wagons, um, you know, get those luxury vehicles off-road. This will be an excellent thing to do. And I believe uh, Matchbox has had like a Jungle Explorer line for a long time, like several years. So any vehicle from that line would work. Even a Jurassic Park uh, Explorer Jeep would work on this because it's pretty cool. I like this. So this has been the Matchbox Action Drivers, what is the official name? Canyon Adventure Playset. So 1999, Walmart, Target, anywhere that has it. Um, it just got released March 2022. So if you're looking at this video past then, um, check Walmart or Target. And if not, probably have to hit eBay or Amazon um, on the secondary market to find one of these. But really cool. I like it. I will link the rest of my Action Drivers videos in the, in the description so you could see which ones have come out in the past year and including some more for 2022. And then I'll try to keep up as when they release them, I'm gonna try to buy them and get them all because they make such an awesome play surface. They're so colorful. There's so much stuff to do. Huge value on these sets. I absolutely love them. So again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Sam, 64 wheels on what? TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Lamely Group, everywhere, YouTube, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.